press and hold the power button to power on KuCam 8K. Before using KuCam 8K for the first time, make sure you have updated the firmware and KuCam app to enjoy the latest features. Now, we're going to show you how to use KuCam 8K. One of the main features is the 2.4 inch touchscreen, which lets you preview, choose shooting modes, adjust parameters, and immediately play back. KuCam 8K will show the battery level, SD card's remaining capacity, shooting modes, and so on. Swipe left, right, up, down to drag and preview 360 panorama. Swipe left to enter shooting mode, such as photo, video, time-lapse video, time-lapse photo, slow motion, super HDR, and four customized modes. After the shooting mode is set, swipe up to set up the parameters, such as resolution, EV, ISO, and shutter speed. You can save the frequently used shooting modes and exposure settings as your custom mode. Swipe down to enter the camera settings menu. Click the custom mode to save the shooting mode and parameters to custom C1. You can save up to four modes to make shooting with KuCam 8K easy and efficient. Then, you can shoot videos or pictures with the Save Custom Mode parameters. Press the Q button to quickly switch between custom modes, or swipe left to choose and start shooting. In the Camera Setting page, you can also adjust brightness, volume, or choose color depth, choose priority memory, format SD card, and so on. Press the shutter button to take photos or start or stop recording. When recording a video, the status LEDs will start blink slowly. Swipe right to enter playback and check the footage and photo by category. Or swipe the screen left and right. When the filming is finished, press and hold the power button to power off KuCam 8K. Be sure KuCam 8K is off while it's charging. When the camera is off, the status LEDs will stay red during charging and turns off when the charging is complete.